A quick introduction to our topic area of today, which is focused on manure, pathogens, and antimicrobial resistance and that nasty group in the center of manure-borne pathogens that used to respond to antimicrobial treatment, but now is resistant. Some vocabulary with AMR. When people talk about AMR, they're talking about one of three things, the drugs, the bugs, and the genes. The drugs are the medicines we take or that we give to animals to combat the infections. They can also be disinfectants or biocides used around an operation. The resistant bacteria are the microorganisms that used to be zapped by the specific drugs, but now are resistant. And then finally, we're here a lot today about genes. They're the DNA instructions that code for resistance. I think of them kind of like recipes for resistance. Like your mother's banana bread recipe, AMR genes can be shared. Um, I'd say, oh, I love your mother's banana bread. Can you get me the recipe? You're like, oh, sure, here you go. And now we both have that. And it's a very similar dynamic um, with these recipes for resistance that can be shared between bacteria. Finally, a quick note to put some of the manure application work in a larger context. Manure is not the only source of AMR in natural environments. AMR occurs naturally in soils across the globe, including organic soils, including pristine soils like the native Nebraska prairie pictured here. So it's not, it's not the only source of antibiotic resistance, but it is really one of the most important, and that's what we're going to focus on here today. Uh, my personal opinion, manure management can have a real and significant positive impact on human health both from minimizing transfer of pathogens and from minimizing transfer of AMR.